computer, keyboard, mouse. It's a birthday wish come true. It was my birthday yesterday and someone messaged me and said, hey, you got your birthday wish. <laughs> Administrator and managing owner of World of Wonder Child Care and Learning Center, Manette Dizan, received the notice yesterday evening from the Department of Public Health announcing daycare centers can reopen Monday at 50% client occupancy. So 50% um, and I was like, oh, that's great. So that means we can have 20 um, 20 kids now. The occupancy does not include staff, which means eight employees can also come back to work on Monday. However, earlier this week, that was not the case, and this brought the daycare association knocking on the doors of Adaloop. There was actually a, a meeting that we, um, our daycare association officers attended. It had our licensor there. It had um, the physician advisory group. Everyone was venting their concerns, and you know, public health is uh, our the, the, the division that supports um, uh, daycares. Um, they were also frustrated for us and saying that it doesn't make sense, 25 percent, and for it to include um, the, the staff. This United Front's concerns were heard, leading Dazan to spend the morning training her staff immediately in preparation for the reopen. It was a training to review our new um, procedures and policies, everything from um, how the kids will be dropped off, how will how will they be picked up? How will we um, do circle time? You know, how will we sanitize and clean? Um, how will we do social distancing in the playground? For this center, they are following a 10-page policy guideline that outlines the new operations. Dazan says all her clients were happy to hear the news, and they have already received two new enrollments. And uh, one of our new enrollees is, um, they, they are, uh, what do you call that, uh, frontliners nurse oh. yeah now she gets to go back to work they need daycare they're gonna lose their job if they can't go to work and so I think a combination of everyone saying that you know daycares are essential businesses is what um, you know prompted them to change the requirement to 50 percent guidelines are more practical and now parents wishes to go back to work can also come true reporting for Guam's News Network I'm Adriana Cotero